Hi, I'm Beth Ramsden, enjoying my newly rearranged studio space. Today I'll be painting an aurora, the northern lights. I've prepared my paper with both masking tape and Japanese washi tape. The paper is smooth bristol board. Here's one I painted before Christmas. You can see it on my Instagram. And here's another example. I'll be showing you how I painted it. I'm adding a new element to the painting though. Glow in the dark paint. Details are in the description. I've taped down my paper and searched online for reference photos of Aurora Borealis. Here's one I'll use for inspiration. I use Schmincke watercolours and a soft round tipped brush. I lightly paint in the shape I want the aurora itself to be, in a greenish yellow colour. Use a small heat gun or hair dryer to dry your paint quickly. I prepare washes of cerulean blue, cobalt green turquoise and quinacridone purple. I use a spray bottle of clean water to lightly mist the paper, but not enough to create puddles or big drips. With the paper upside down, I paint from light to dark, top to bottom, leaving the aurora visible. Cobalt at the top for the horizon, cerulean through the middle, and purple at the bottom for the darkest areas of the sky. I avoid any dry or sharp edges, keeping everything wet in wet. Once it looks right to me, I quickly dry it before it moves around any further, effectively saving this layer. I repeat the process again, dampen the paper, turn it upside down, and use the same colours to deepen the intensity. I darken my cerulean blue with some black and add a wet in wet layer just around the top. I compare the values to my earlier painting and I mix up a more concentrated wash of cerulean purple and black.
I want some warmth in the sky, so I add a little permanent carmen pink. Now, I add the glow-in-the-dark paint. I water it down to begin with. I am worried it might lift the watercolours up, but I'm gentle with the brush and it doesn't affect it. I only apply the paint where I want the aurora to glow. The manufacturers recommend applying it thickly for a better effect, so I did add some more once it was dry. The glow paint has a thick and granular feeling, but it's not very apparent once it's dried. I switch my reference photo to one with trees. With gouache paint, I use a toothbrush to flick tiny white stars into the sky. I also use a paintbrush to create larger stars. I mix black and purple to paint in a low landscape. Then a ruler to help lay in a few tree trunks, using perspective to give the impression of looking up into the sky. The first few are painted dark purple, but when I layer more trees in front, I switch to black, pushing the purple trees into the background.
as someone who has declared a thousand times that I cannot paint landscapes, I'm actually really pleased with it. Letting the watercolours blend and mix and be a bit chaotic is great fun. I have some UV lights to charge it up with, but does it actually glow? I hope you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and a comment for me and consider subscribing if you haven't yet. I'll see you again soon, take care. Bye.